rules of origin and certificate of origin goods made in india get tariff benefits if covered under a free trade agreement that india has signed however a good imported from another country may be re-exported from india falsely stating that the good was made in india to prevent such and other issues we have rules of origin these rules are used to determine the country of origin of a good for the purpose of exports to a trading partner these rules of origin are negotiated as part of an fta and are different under each fta rules of origin are of two types preferential and non-preferential what are rules of origin preferential under an fta the tariff concessions are granted only when these prescribed rules of origin are adhered to some key criteria used in the determination of the rules of origin are goods are wholly obtained there is change in tariff classification there is some value addition non-minimal operations why do we need such rules of origin these are required to determine whether imported products shall receive benefits under an FTA, implement trade remedies such as anti-dumping duties and safeguard measures. For the purpose of trade statistics, what are rules of origin non-preferential? Rules of origin non-preferential criteria are specified as follows. Goods should be manufactured in India as per the definition of manufacture in para 9.31 of FTP. If imported inputs have been used for the production of export product, the export product can be considered to be originating in India, non-preferential, only if the imported inputs undergo substantial processing. Some examples of processing which will not be considered as originating in India are as follows. Operations like removal of dust, sifting, sorting, matching, washing, painting, changes of packing and breaking up and assembly of consignments. Simple cutting, slicing and repacking, affixing of marks, labels, simple mixing of products, simple assembly or disassembly, mere dilution with water or another substance. You may go through para 2.108 of the handbook of procedures for more details. Why do we need rules of origin non-preferential? Non-preferential certificates of origin do not confer any tariff benefits. However, the importing country may still call for it for other reasons. Certificate of Origin To prove that a good satisfies the rules of origin, a document called Certificate of Origin COO, is issued. They again are of two types, preferential and non-preferential. Who issues a Certificate of Origin preferential? For exports under India's FTAs, PTAs and GSP, specified agencies are authorized to issue the certificates of origin. These agencies also provide services relating to issue of COO, including details regarding rules of origin, list of items covered by an agreement, extent of tariff preference, verification and certification of eligibility. The list of these agencies authorized under the various FTAs or PTAs is given in Appendix 2B of the Foreign Trade Policy and is available on the DGFT website. Who can issue a Certificate of Origin Non-Preferential? List of notified agencies is provided in Appendix 2E. In addition, agencies authorized to issue Preferential COO may also issue Non-Preferential COO. Niku may read through paragraphs under 2.10 of the Handbook of Procedures for more details on them. For further details on certificates of origin, she may contact any of the agencies in her area which are listed under Appendix 2D or 2E.